there, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shawman247, welcoming you back to Back to the Future, the game! Last time when I recorded this game, we began Episode 3, Citizen Brown. And we learned that Hill Valley is not the same as it was back when we started the game. Nah, 1985, or rather 1986, rap instead, uh, because this game takes place one year after the movies. 1986 turned into more of a police state sort of future-like thing, where everything seems to be under control, and people wear polo shirts, and things are happening! And Biff looks normal. Like, afraid of things. So... Let's see what Biff's got here. What's under this table? Citizen, Citizen Plus? Plus? What is Citizen Plus? Citizen Bus. <laughs> I meant Citizen Plus. <laughs> Golly. Man, am I that out of the loop with this game? Jeez. Yeah? Biff? Hey, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Um... What? Citizen Plus? What Citizen Plus. It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? That's not the Biff we know and love. The Biff we know and love is mean, and he wouldn't mind swearing. Jeez. <laughs> Speaking of Biff, before I go on, allow me to point out this fact about the game. There actually is a 30th anniversary edition of the game that came out a few weeks ago, and it features reworked voiceovers by um, uh, Tom Wilson, the guy that portrayed Biff in the original movie trilogy. So. There's different, um, uh, Biff's voice is different and some of the dialogue is rewritten too. And that version is particularly on the, um, PS4, Xbox One, and I think some other platforms. Do get that version preferably if you want to play this game, but the PC and the Wii versions of this game still are pretty cool too. I mean, the core gameplay is still the same, but rather, um... There's just small little differences, including enhanced graphics on the newer platforms. Anyway, let's continue conversing with Biff. And he's kind of got some nice clothes on. Nice clothes? You lose a bed or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Hawaiian shirts? Great. I wouldn't mind wearing a Hawaiian shirt on, on a Friday. Shoot, sign me up. Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But, yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... butthead. <laughs> special case? I don't see why that would make you a special case. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. Hmm, interesting. So, how about you... Tell me more well, about the past. About all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, alright, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus... Uh, tell me about the illegal you substances. Something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Interesting. Used to be I'd knock <laughs> your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. So, there's no booze? There's no booze in Hill Valley. Nope. 
Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Man, that's that stinks. There's no party in there, man. There's no party in. <laughs> Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. Banning? You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. So there are no there more? No dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep. Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. Oh, I should have known. Citizen Edna should have known. So, what, what about these illegal did women? You get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, Oof. necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. Wow, that sucks. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns always say that behaviors that excite your privates should be kept in private. Wow. <laughs> it's Citizen Edna who says that. Not gonna lie, that does sound kind of catchy. <laughs> anyway, I've heard enough yeah, of that. Let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Well, this little Biff here, you know, this old Biff, I mean this new Biff, <laughs> is pretty interesting. So no more so old Biff? break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. Physically impossible? So? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. Whoa, that is crazy stuff. So is the re-education still in effect? Re -education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Hmm. Uh, how about a beer? You aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. On second thought, blah. <laughs> what a baby! Be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching <laughs> to find out. Don't <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> don't torment me. <laughs> poor, poor Biff. To this. Please, Martin, don't make me angry. All right, Biff, you're off the hook this time. <laughs> All right, I guess tell me more about Citizen Plus. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? Hmm. Digital watch? Tell me about that you said first. It's some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state of the art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. Hmm. Well, at least there's it's a choice. voluntary, right? Sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it'll be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. But now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. Uh, so, what does it do exactly? Citizen Plus. Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? This is some kind of brainwashing? Sounds like it. That's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. Uh, how do you become what one? What do you do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. Uh, it sounds boring already. But then you get an appointment with Citizen Brown in about two years. Two years? Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. The only time he deviates from his schedule is when some Looney Tune is running around racking up demerits. Fortunately, that almost never happens. Hmm. Let's stop okay, talking about let's that. Let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. 
okay. <laughs> the disappointment. That's... You think I get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? Uh, well, considering we've heard everything else already, we do need to see Citizen Brown. And, well, I guess we gotta start causing trouble to do just Wait, that. Biff. So see you, Biff. Biff's definitely changed. How about that? Hmm, there's Jennifer it's again. To now. Probably up doing some sort of crazy thing for community service again or something like that. Who knows? Why don't we go pay uh, Jennifer a visit over in that alley? Because she headed over this way. And we'll run over to there. Running, running, running. So it's got to load up another area. Curse you, loading screen. Alright. Gotta say, before I confront her, it's been way too long since I've recorded the last video. I mean, or I actually rather even put one up. Usually uh, when I record these things, I like to record the next episode ahead. So that way I can make sure I get the preview at the very end and be functional and work and everything and so on and so forth. I usually tend to do this with all my series so far, but um, uh, except for the Plants vs. Zombies bonus episodes, but that's a different case. Because so, so, I want to make sure that um, uh, you guys can kind of see a snippet of what's to come. Just in case you guys have played this game before and you're like, Oh snap, is this the part where he does this or is this the part where he does that? I don't know. <laughs> That's what those previews are there for and it's just to make sure things are going smoothly. I'm talking about the thing at the end of the video that's like with the music that's like do 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 Yeah, like that. That's what I'm particularly talking about. But enough on that. We need we should see Jennifer. Jen keeps her paints. Black. Well actually let's explore what else is around here. So there's a bricked doorway. It bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Hmm. It's just another brick in the wall. All in all, we're just another brick in the wall. There's a door. Can we go inside? That leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Leech is in there. <laughs> another fun fact that I've read up on, actually. Um, uh, Leech is actually um, an original character to the game, but he was not originally intended to be like that. He is actually originally supposed to be Needles, who was a character that cameoed in the end of the second movie. You know, and he was actually portrayed by Flea of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Which I find pretty cool because I really am into the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And his character was supposed to come back in his game in this role that Leech has, but because, you know, I guess he couldn't actually uh, do like be there or in order to record voiceover for this game or something or some sort of legal thing happening they just decided to turn it into an original character named Leech instead let's check out this plank so I that I want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to okay <laughs> enough stalling let's see Jennifer, Jennifer. Jen. Just problem. I just realized her head is so much bigger than Marty's. Jeez. So you left me stranded, What's the deal, Jennifer. You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Go ahead, corrupt Look, me. I don't know what you got against me in this timeline uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know. Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Oh, far? <laughs> you act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Well, what 
interesting guys. Someone else. I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't raid anymore. Uh. You going out with someone else? I bet. Sorry, Martin. But okay, we saw that already. So breaking the rules. You spend most of your time vandalizing public property. Don't even think about snitching on me, unless you want this spray can up your. No, no. Listen, no. you got me wrong. I'm looking to uh break a few rules myself. You. So. Um, where can I get some Before contraband? I could score some forbidden materials. Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. Uh, dangerous animal? What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. All right, public displays of affection. Really? And on public displays of affection, bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah. Not with you. Ew. So let's protest the law it. Against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kissing. Let's not and say we did. Isn't graffiti a major mm. infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fig. Ah, never mind then. I second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Wow. So, Leech what are you... the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth hmm. jazz. I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. So, can I borrow some paint? and a spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. So, what do you think of the oh, other me? Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crap? Damn. Dorks. <laughs> Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley mm. standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Man, that sucks. Uh... Have you checked you out Biff lately? Cannon back there. He's so calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV and the radio and the newspapers and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well adjusted, which is why I'm going to stay clear of it. All right, I have a plan Valley to fix Hell Valley. Screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Huh. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really, this crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Keyword, almost. Well, I'm off. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Uh, well. Alright. Ah. That's that. Locked. Hmm. Do we have anything in our inventory? Stack of demerits. Let me see if that'll work with Jennifer. It's got my name on it. They couldn't do anything with this. Hmm. Okay. She missed a spot. Hmm. Alright. Let's get away from here for now and see if we could find anything else that's new. Oh! Look out, son! Mom? 
Lorraine McFly. Interesting. Perhaps we should go talk to her since she just arrived. Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, it can't be you. Martin, are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. <laughs> what are so you doing what? out there? Are you out here shopping or something? Uh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, ah, yeah. interesting. Well, whose golf cart is that? What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. Uh, what about 86s? my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Mm. Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a deer and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Uh, Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, interesting. Well, she's going to be there polishing the statue all day, so I guess it now is probably a good time as ever in order to, um, uh... Hmm. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'm going to end the video here, actually. So, next time on Back to the Future, the game, we're going to take the, the electrical golf cart here. Yeah, golf carts. <laughs> Why are we driving around in golf carts? Hey, vey. This timeline definitely is odd. So, yeah. Next time, we're going to take the golf cart, and we're going to go visit our good old buddy George McFly and see what he's been up to. And hopefully, we'll be able to learn more about um, the stuff that we can do here in this timeline and maybe find ways we can cause some trouble and vi visit Citizen Brown. And that's exactly what we'll be doing next time. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Also, be sure to share this out with other Back to the Future fanatics. And also, subscribe to see the rest of the Back to the Future, the game, when new videos come on out. So, I thank you guys so very, very much for watching this, and stay classy! Bye-bye!